like scary stories welcome to another episode of strange chronicles of the graveyard shift we're going to go to a haunted west texas cemetery <laughs> sister and her husband we were out over there by the gate and over in the general vicinity we were watching a lady in a white dress walking across the cemetery solid this is like me and you we how we look at each other i mean you, the color of her skin everything was there she just like disappeared just one second there next second gone about what time of day was this? Uh, about, I want to say about 10 o'clock at night. Age, I want to say maybe 30s, 40s. The dress was kind of a style of like the 1800s. How it was, uh, how they had him drag a little bit. Any particular uh, headstone that she disappeared at that you could tell? Uh, no, not really. I mean, you drove off at that point, right? Or did you hang around for a little bit? Well, we, we, we hanged around for like about another two minutes, and then that's about the time we said, okay, that's enough, but let's out of here. I understand there have been other experiences out here, from what I'm told, but I haven't done any research on it. Have you talked to anybody else who's had experiences out here? No, it's just mostly rumors that I keep hearing, but so far they're pretty close to what I can come up with. Just having rumors? her walking across, she'll just vanish out of nowhere. How did you react when this first happened? Uh, scared. <laughs> right over there, they buried him in 2012. And it looks like it was, like it's still fresh. Actually it does. And that is Grandpa, bizarre. 2010, and his is like the rest of all this. That is strange. You have any weird feelings in the cemetery right now? Not at the moment. Not at the moment. Let's see what we uh, what we can find. <laughs> 1908, 1917, 1937. What do y'all see? The Rutledge family. Oh wow. She's back in this area, right? Probably from uh, the. Uh, I'm gonna say she was This looks like an old grave. It is an old grave. It fell apart. Look at that ruby. GW and C D Allen. We're standing right now on the back side of Sherwood Cemetery, just kinda looking, trying to get an idea. That's about right where it was at. Where this apparition walked across the cemetery when he spotted her. That must be just about where it was That looks about right from where the vehicles are. Seriously, she walked across. Just all the way straight across. Now some of these trees weren't here, these are fairly new. Okay. Disability looking down here. Yeah, there's nowhere she could have come And there's nothing else around here, so there's no reason for a person to be appearing out of the middle of nowhere 
and then disappearing as quickly as she appeared. Maybe we hang around a little while and uh, maybe she'll be gracious and pop up again for us. <laughs> well, she does. She's on your because I'm going that way. <laughs> uh, been a while. It takes a while for the dirt to uh, go down. Well, what I'm thinking is if you look at some of these, yeah. they're, they're, they're older burials. Yep. But I'm almost wondering if they were buried in another cemetery and then brought over here. Right. And placed. That's a possibility. Like, look at look at this one over here. This looks like a really, really old section. I mean, there's not even there's not even anything on this one. Look at that. And these these are just put here to mark. Not even any engravings. And there's, and there's a lot of them that are unmarked graves. Yeah. So these probably go back to the 1700s, 1800s. They just lost their headstones a long time ago and they just put rocks out. Or... You can tell this is definitely the older, older part of the cemetery back here. Two. I'm gonna say that's what's left of one, that one over there. Again. Yeah. These definitely go way back. They just have family that died out and quit taking care of them. And we have a nice Wix Texas evening, nice and cloudy. This one goes way back. Look at this, 1847 and 1919. Double field. That's another big family out here. It's starting to get dark. Maybe it'll show up here pretty soon. Cemetery kind of does take on a different feel as the sun goes down. Looking around, see if I see anything. I brought my scope that I use for uh, UFO spotting too, but there's too many clouds out here. It's hoping to get out, you know, from the city lights and uh, be able I don't to know see how many something. UFOs you'd see. Oh, I've, you'd be surprised what I, well, not tonight, I'm saying um, other nights, though. I've spotted a lot of really strange stuff. <laughs> There's things up here from time to time that just, uh, they're, it's out there. They're not airplanes. You can tell what are airplanes and helicopters and what aren't. I caught one one night where I was watching it for the longest time, and then out of nowhere it just starts moving. <laughs> You know, it was still for like 15 minutes, and just about the time I was thinking that's got to be a star, it starts to move. I said, at first it wasn't moving fast, that was the other weird thing. It starts moving slow, and then of course I'm focusing the scope in, looking at it, and when I got in real close, you could tell that it had like, like three or four lights on it. You know, weird pattern. And then it kind of it kind of tilted a little bit. It was probably, um, I don't know, I'd say about 70,000 feet. Well, I know we ain't like alone. Yeah. Somebody had to show us how to make a damn cell phone. Yeah. 